Welcome to our talk today and we're thinking today about one of the most common excuses or answers that people give about becoming a Christian. Maybe later. They have been touched, they've been challenged by the message of the gospel. They do understand that they need to come to trust in Jesus. But something just holds them back and they just say, maybe later. In the Bible, there's a story of the Apostle Paul coming before King Agrippa. And he shares the message of Christ and salvation with King Agrippa. And in some of the Bible translations, Agrippa is described as someone who is almost persuaded. He's nearly there, nearly come with that point of faith in Christ and salvation, but he doesn't come right through. How do we respond to people who say, maybe later? Well, let's take Agrippa as an example. There is no record of Agrippa ever coming to trust in Jesus. His maybe later was in fact, no way, I'm not going to come. Let's think about this maybe later answer. People who say maybe later are assuming they will have a lot of time to think about this in the future. And none of us know how much time we have. All of us probably have an idea we're going to live at least to our 70s, 80s or beyond. I think we'll do that. But we don't know that. I am 52 and just before Christmas there's quite a number of people who I heard of in their 50s who died quite suddenly. And that can happen whatever age you're at. There's a story told about a young prince over in Europe who was concerned about his soul and was concerned about getting right with God. And he said this to someone and someone says, listen, you're very young. You're only a teenager. You can wait to your older life. The response of the young prince was very wise. He says, listen, I have walked around the graveyard and there are many people in that graveyard who are younger than I. So none of us know how much time we have. The Bible says life is like a vapor. Here one moment and then it disappears. So in a sense, you're playing roulette. Remember that Russian roulette, that game in which people put one bullet into a revolver and spin the barrel and then point of their head, they're gambling with their lives. If you're saying maybe later, you're gambling with your eternal destiny. Too dangerous to leave to later. But if this maybe later is, people are saying maybe in the future there will be a better situation in life. Circumstances will be better or I will feel better and it will be more appropriate then to come Uh, to trust in Jesus, be a better time. I think that is fooling yourself. Later on, there will still be excuses and reasons for you not to come to Christ. The devil will always make sure you have many reasons to put it off. And you put it off to later, later he'll say, keep putting it off. You'll always find excuses and reasons to put it off. But there's a real danger in thinking, somehow in the future things will be easier because every time you hear the gospel message it does have a response or it does have an impact upon you and the impact is two ways either it softens your heart and draws you closer to jesus or it hardens your heart and takes you further away from jesus depending on how you respond and so every time you hear the gospel message and you reject it and you Hold God at an arm's length. Your heart gets harder and harder. There's a wee verse in the Bible that says how the Spirit of God will not always strive with man. There comes a time when God's patience runs out. I remember years ago visiting a lady in Balamina. And she wasn't that well. I talked to her about her need of salvation. And I can remember she was physically shaken she was under conviction that indeed she needed to get right with God she did nothing about it but a year later I remember visiting her 
in hospital. She was dying. Death was only a matter of a few hours away. I talked to her about her need to be saved. And there wasn't a concern in the world about that. The Spirit of God was not tarrying with her anymore. Basically, God had said, you want to go your own way without me? Go your own way. And as far as I could see, that lady passed into eternity, not trusting in Jesus. Maybe later, meant never at all. But let me say this to some folk who, who have put it off until now. And some folk have talked about I've put it off until now and now it's too late. The Lord has passed me by. If you're even thinking that way, then there's, there's hope. There's hope for you. Today is the day of salvation. If today you feel the Lord tugging at your heart, if today you feel a concern for your souls, today is a day in which all can be changed. Today is a day when you can come and trust in Jesus. Jesus says, whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. And today, if you come to Jesus, he will receive you. Come to him in faith, trusting his death and the cross is your only hope. Come to him in repentance. Turn from your sin. Embrace him as your Lord. Today is a day of opportunity. One of the things about getting older in life is that our, our minds play tricks on us. Our minds don't think we're getting older in many ways. But then our, our bodies tell a tale. and It's maybe harder to get out of a chair, harder to get out of bed, harder to go up or downstairs. And sometimes we fool ourselves in our mind thinking we can do the things we want. But the reality is we're getting older and older. And death is drawing near. Listen, the only day you can be sure of, the only time you can be sure of, is now, today. None of us know what's going to happen tomorrow. None of us know even what's going to happen in the next hour. This is the day of opportunity. This is the moment of opportunity. Jesus is waiting. Don't say maybe later. If you say maybe later, what you're really saying, Jesus, I'm not willing to accept you. Jesus, you're not good enough for me to trust now. It's a real insult to Jesus to say, maybe later. Imagine someone is asked to get married. The fella pops the question and she says, maybe later. I'll think about it, maybe later. And keeps putting it off. Really shows there's not a willingness to commit. Today is a day of salvation. Today, you need to come to Jesus. Amen.